Hi my viewers. Welcome to the world of English with Sakshi Khanna once again. So today we are here to compile our previous topic MCQ based culture especially in competitive level of the examination across India. Whatever the sort of exam but basic is MCQ question hour. So we are dealing with that and in that section I opted first of all the comprehension. So in the comprehension today we are compiling how to deal with the MCQ based culture questions and I request you once again get your pen and paper and write with me all the notes and I am still waiting your views, your ideas, your opinions about the lecture, your queries especially. Okay, I am not getting that means you are not putting full of attention concentration in the lectures even though we are handling the virtual classroom but please don't avoid that don't waste your time it's really very precious for you as well as for me if i am taking this much concern you need to take the same as well then i told you 50 percent from my side 50 percent from your side then we can get the 100 percent of any of the content okay learners so get your pen paper Okay, let's start now. Reading comprehension. As I already discussed with you in my first lecture, what is reading comprehension? Actually, what they want to assess. Ability to comprehend. Text is influenced by learners or readers individual skills. Nobody has the skill. We need to develop the skills. Okay, and their ability to process information is totally different. Very different person to person you are giving option b is correct maybe i gave option c is correct so it depends upon the verification verification depends upon the processing processing depend upon the skills that how many skills you have developed so we are talking under that only so moving ahead reading comprehension again lot many new words new concepts new facts which we don't know even sometime we are dealing with that reading is a purposeful activity yes on the screen you can see a person may read in order to number one to gain information okay now i am telling you again the processing processing is varied from person to person now how you need to take the processing of the content so that your each and every option will go to the correct one okay so first you read it to gain the information definitely second verify existing knowledge verify existed knowledge means what you got in the content in the passage and you are matching with your knowledge as well means when you are reading beyond the line between the line okay third point enhance knowledge when you enhance knowledge enhance knowledge definitely when you are reading something first paragraph you got this much knowledge second this much detail third this much detail reading always enhancing your knowledge the level the standard of your knowledge have access to the literature it's purely based on the content so content connected to the literature very important so have access to the literature accessibility to the literature approachability to the literature easily okay how because when you are in the habit to read you can read any of the novel any of the text any of the article for enjoyment as well and those who are very much fond of reading they are dying for reading anytime means in the train you can see in the plane you can see people are with their books and they just lose in that if you have heard about bill gates okay bill gates jack ma these people are not too many uh, degrees they are not having many degrees and they are not considered as scholars. But they have a sitting dining table as well. But very important, the maximum time where they want to spend that is their study. And in their study, they have made a library. We can't imagine how many books they read. An example, I have given you result because you have seen already of Bill Gates, Jack Ma like that. Okay, so it's really very important, a purposeful activity which will lead the way to success very easily. Now, 
time management in such type of competitive level exams very important really why because it's purely based on the timing they want to check your iq level but with the timings not with the out of limit they will give you the timing now look at the screen normal average a good exceptional speed a normal person normal speed means when you have just started your reading passages in the beginning for the practice or you have no accessibility you are not fond of reading as well then your speed will be 200 to 220 words per minute but it's a normal it can be of mine because i love to read the things okay average 250 and 350 word per minute after the practicing lot of practicing of reading you can be a good reader with 500 to 700 word per minute and exceptional speed 1000 word per minute or more to which we can say that are you reading the book or you have finished so fast did you scan it when our brain started scanning the books the content very fast means we just skim it and we take out but first second third fourth level if you want to go to the fourth level you need to be a good reader first of all you need to increase your speed and i give you one task today you need to see that in one passage which i will be giving to you to diet okay you need to count you have to make an alert of timer with a stopwatch and you feel keep per minute how many words you have read while skimming okay reading comprehension learners is an interactive process interactive means when you give also something you get also okay both the way it goes both the way both the ways so what the text gives you very simple group of words sentences okay paragraphs that encode meaning now what reader uses means when you deals with the passage you use your knowledge as well knowledge you get from the letter word sentences paragraph okay and then you develop your skills side by side and strategies to determine what the meaning is resulted in comprehension so bottom line is that understanding of text is comprehension okay It doesn't mean that you have given 100% of your reading but you didn't get anything. Both the way, interactive process go in the same way. Now, types of comprehension. I told you in my first lecture, literal, literal comprehension, reorganization, prediction, inference, evaluation, personal response. So, literal comprehension, reorganization, prediction also, inference also, evaluation and personal response now look at the last point personal response they have put at the end means you need to get your knowledge you need to add your knowledge at the end moment when you are not getting your any option any clue from all the sides hands up then you need to use your own knowledge literal comprehension as the word suggests us an understanding of the content straightforward not here there round and round just straightforward hit the target meaning of the text means everything is very clear all the answers are so clear with us so this is known as little comprehension and this type of comprehension you always have in your examination when you get your answers very fast but don't expect that you will be getting little comprehension what has been written you will get the same in your competitive standard of english paper here the things are different so little comprehension consisted of facts vocabulary dates times locations means your answers are purely based on these five things facts based vocabulary based dates based time and the location Next sort of is reorganization, a literal understanding of the text. Students use information from various parts of the text for additional understanding. You read the paragraph, you got the information. Okay, 
you got the information you got the gist of the paragraph as well means the theme of the paragraph as well now what is your target now you need to reorganize all the things students use information look at the second point student use information from various parts of the text for additional understanding now in the first section see facts vocabulary dates time location you got okay now what you need to do these are the various various parts okay these are the various parts now you will get the information by using various parts of the text with additional understanding now your understanding will also work here prediction very important prediction i can't say it is same as guessing no it is different to determine what might happen next or after a story ends student use their understanding of the passage knowledge of the topic and related matters in a systematic fashion varieties of prediction while reading post reading last two points i want to consider once again before i complete my this slide content while reading different you are feeling at the end of reading the passage here sorry your views got changed as i told you so this is known as prediction first you are thinking like differently now the track of thinking has been changed why so post reading different answer may be while reading you are catching different answer so anything can happen as i told you so students use their understanding of the passage knowledge of the topic and related matters related matters that is your uh, facts and all what you got knowledge of the topic you must be having some little knowledge about the passage okay and understanding of the passage while reading skimming screening you have got whatever now while reading answers different post reading may be 20% changes can occur but not 100% it doesn't like that that uh, how many answer you have got and they all are wrong at the end moment all changed it doesn't happen very few cases it happens here your thought process will be activated to the maximum extent inference inference means you are standard of combining the facts dates location or whatever the information you have received from the passage so it involves students combining their literal understanding of the text with their own knowledge and intuitions intuitions intentions that i am feeling like that i am feeling like this okay so this is your intuitions this is your feelings sometime okay so you need to combine your little understanding of the text with your own knowledge very smartly okay guys coming up with the point evaluation it requires a learner to give a global or comprehensive judgment about some aspect of the text global means the content only the content it's not your physical globe okay so evaluation it's very simple evaluation means to judge to assess to check so it requires the learner to give a global or comprehensive judgment comprehensive judgment means understanding you have made now this is the time to give the judgment about some aspect of the text they haven't asked you the questions on each and every line base four or five maximum okay minimum four maximum five personal response at the end means you will be using your personal response it requires readers to respond with their feelings for the text and the subject the answers are not found in the text they come strictly from the readers sometime we get the passage with the open content means what they have given beyond that there are so many things which they have hidden or they have missed out to make you people confused so in that case you will be using such type of smartness personal response it requires readers to respond with their feelings now you need to use your feelings for the text and the subject what you access actually what you feel like that so the answers are not found in the passage in the content you will not 
get the answers easily so strictly from the readers the option will come out okay not a single line not a single clue you will be getting for any of the option that clue you will create how you will create when you will develop your reading skills and we are working over that only i hope you all want to improve your reading skills whatever i will explain you today would you like to follow with me the same and definitely mark my words you will become a wonderful reader within 2 months of the practice so number first practice reading every day every day you need to read a passage one paragraph any paragraph of any of the book but you need to maintain this habit you should read different fields to improve your vocabulary it's not like that that always you will read about mathematics sciences english no some culture some thing about the business economy of india economy of the world anything you need to read because it will consist different sort of vocabulary and we are working over the vocabulary as well as with comprehension take note all new words and learn them underline all the new words first start finding in the dictionary and later on you will assess the word meaning by reading only the previous sentence and the next sentence try to answer all the questions don't leave any question whether you know or not make a habit of yours answer all the questions check the key and read the passage again now keys with you for example i am giving you one passage daily basis morning almost uh, noon time i just give you the answer key okay that time you need to read that passage once again if your all answers are correct then it's okay if two correct then also you need to read if one is incorrect then also you need to read the passage once again okay so that you check the key read the passage again why to find out the mistake you have faced and deeply understand the passage you have read means where you have missed out something that your one option got incorrect in the way let's recap the reading techniques once again scanning you try to find a particular piece of information you read from top to down of the text quickly in to find the specific information you need to answer question okay here you will be collecting your information skimming you try to gather the most important information as quickly as possible you read from top to down of the text quickly and note important information important information you will get in the first level of reading skimming scanning you will start collecting more information intensive reading you try to find the details of a specific information example question what does intensive in line 5 mean so extensive reading you try to find general information of a passage example question what is the best title for this passage very general okay intensive reading question like what where when how such type of so on the screen the different culture of the question answers okay based on the comprehension passage number 1 multiple choice questions for which we are talking for so long short answer questions and true or false questions okay but we will not be doing only multiple choice questions because you are dealing with the ncert final examinations of english house test as well okay so it will be helpful for you to go through all the types of questions short answer as well true false also okay multiple choice question a student chooses one answer from a number of choices so parts of a mcq a stem the text of the question and options the choices provided after the stem the key the correct answer in the list of options distractors the incorrect answers in the list of option which i told you you need to separate those correct answer or maybe the wrong answers maybe the confused items in the list okay so distractors will help you very fast to go to the correct option the key the correct answer in the list of option it is there already find the choices a b c d a stem the text of the 
question the text after question what you want to know what you have to find let us see in the detail on the screen i have put one question with the options now see how we need to find out where did norma put the lamb chops so what we need to find something about the chops so chops is the stem here a b c d four options in the oven in the broiler in the freezer in the basket okay so freezer and basket distractors means it can't go it can't go in these two options c and d are totally incorrect so what you need to do you need to cut it out they are your distractors so a and b you need to find a and b in the oven in the broiler okay so broiler is the correct answer rest are the distractors c and d are very close one and in the oven little far one okay okay now the assessments students knowledge to assess the depth and breadth means from both the ways breadth also and the depth also of the passage components of bloom's taxonomy which i explained you in my first lecture if you remember knowledge comprehension application analyze and evaluation can be tested through mcq why they want to put they want to check your knowledge your understanding your application means you got the information how you apply your information to the close option to the far option how you avoid your distractors okay and evaluation can be tested through mcqs it requires less time to administer for a given amount of material very fast we can assess the person on the basis of the mcq based result that is why mcq based culture examination is the basic ground level examination scenario of maximum all the competitive level exams worldwide i think as i am telling you we need to develop our skills we need to develop our skills and for that we need to see why the examiner put the passage based on the mcq why why all the competitive standard exams based on mcq culture so what they want to know we need to work over that it goes both the way for example a comprehensive evaluation of the child extent of knowledge how much you understand to what extent you understand okay to what level you can go for understanding that that they want to know better measurement tool mcqs responses are easily scored with accuracy and objectivity means confusion they can create and to the point also you need to give the answer the strongest predicator predictors of overall student performance and they are very strongest very closer very closer predictors they are known as predictors to say about the knowledge of the student that this knowledge this student stands here in the iq level that's why they follow mcq culture creativity rote learning limited types of knowledge low order skills okay creativity cannot be tested here you can mold the answers in different way because here you are limited with four options so there is no creativity road learning some student engage in road learning means memorization repeating memorization you can't do that because it will not help you here whatever the content in the paragraph you need to use your knowledge according to that only you can't go out of the box limited types of knowledge is assessed by mcq test yes the first ground level of the test is based on the mcq later on they go for the descriptive and the creative task low order skills mcqs are the best for testing well defined or lower order skills means the ground level of the knowledge that is why we have taken all the topic from the ground level of english grammar because in the competitive level exams when mcq culture is based on the concept of taking paper then they judge only the ground level information 
disadvantages of mcq culture please understand very deeply no credit for knowing if student selects the wrong answer means negative marking the first disadvantage and this is the only disadvantage a chance of receiving a mark to select a random answer to select a random answer changing answer random means this or that this or that you must have seen in the movies also that students are just praying to god and marking the answer a chance of receiving a mark okay so changing answer right to wrong changes in 20% wrong to right changes in 57% nearly triple time means right to wrong when it was right while reading it got changed wrong to right after reading means post reading session so it is almost triple time triple time so these are the disadvantages that is why you have to be very much cautious while dealing with the mcq based culture conclusion here mcqs have been criticized as a ridiculous kind of mechanism mechanization you can say that transform knowledge in crossword puzzles yes indeed it is true even i also feel that uh, just with like a game tick tick okay you tick the right option you need to tick the right option so mcq area legitimate method of competence testing that is why they have put the questions on the ground level only they only take the questions from the basics of the information not from the advanced level advanced level paper is purely based on the short answer type and descriptive type of answer which we will be doing today as well short answer questions an effective measure of a student's ability to accurately recall specific target information when you organize when you organize all the facts and you discard all the waste material waste fact from the passage and you just write a very precise answer that is called as short answer based culture the answer shows that the students understand what the question is asking it shows clearly that you got the answer easily and you have arranged also now you are ready to write down your answer with your presence of mind where limitation is very less coin has both the sides it doesn't mean that mcq has disadvantages only advantages will be having of short answer no advantages disadvantages goes go both the way it has mandatory so advantages here requires cognitive ability to generate answer very precise means you are not supposed to write any word anything from any of the corner of the passage you need to hit the target exact answer promotes more in depth study as students must recall answers then you go for more detailed study that is why it is a second level of the examination effective for assessing information who what where and when effective for assessing information when who has been asked what has been asked where has been asked and when you will give something descriptive as well for example who something related to the person so you will write some more things about the person specifically to make your answers so effective it provides diagnostic information when looking at types of error quicker for students to complete than mcqs it is very simple to understand as i told you when there is no option you will purchase your thing very fast when more options you will get confused and chances of wasting the time are more so effective as either a written or oral assessment whatever the type of the assessment either it's written or oral it effective in both the way yeah disadvantages of short answer type question concept generally limited yes you can't go beyond the limit limit of the words have been given in that part to knowledge to comprehension questions okay generally limited to the knowledge also means you know more and more things about the 
answer but you are precise with your answer so you need to select that which is very important fact which you can't avoid so you need to make your decision in that rote learning encouraging you note encouraging rote memorization when we start memorizing the things so it encourage memorization concept i really don't like that may overestimate learning due to bluffing sorry guys it got disconnected certainly the last point we were talking about may overestimate learning due to bluffing bluffing means everything is in the bold and you just get confused or overestimate oh my god i got all the answers very fast so this is known as that when you are getting confused in your own views okay so this is a disadvantage of that sometime the accuracy of assessment depends upon the handwriting the presenting of the answer spelling skills yes very important if you people are not good in the spellings then you need to start working over the spelling as well because in english paper you can't avoid the spelling unless it is mcq based culture paper so difficult to write item so that desired knowledge is clear difficult to write okay when you are not feeling good in writing so this is a disadvantage is for the students those who don't like to write okay and they are not good in spelling because they are in a b c d no spelling error and you will get your full point one means of measuring this type of higher order understanding short answer items can also be utilized to assess yes of course they are checking your knowledge the way is different comprehension understanding application synthesis analyze and evaluation levels means how you synthesize how you organize all the things okay so in this way we conclude in this way we have concluded this slide that short answer type always check knowledge understanding application organization synthesis analysis and evaluation you have to become a good analytic person okay when you are dealing with the comprehension passage analyze means understanding so simple so we have true false they are known as binary choice questions as well a true false question is a form of the multiple choice format there are only two possible alternatives yes or no true or false correct incorrect in the way not more than that only two options you will be having advantages of this method efficient method of testing a wide range of material in a short period of time well suited for measuring knowledge comprehensive and application levels of understanding very fast yes or no one thing means very fast manner efficient manner to check the knowledge comprehension understanding and application level of the understanding disadvantages of such type of questions may overestimate learning due to the influence of guessing means when yes or no very fast you go to guess and it goes wrong maximum time so they are more confusing than mcq difficult to differentiate between effective difficult items and trick items often leads to testing of trivial facts or bits of information so overall i tell you this type of questions will always make you confused with your answers because you will guess very fast and just in the skimming portion you will decide your answers okay guys this is the time to say goodbye and concluding i'm concluding my today's lecture today we have finished everything about the mcq based culture apart from that short answer type as well which will be helpful for you writing the cbs examination true false statements that is also very helpful in cbs examination tips and tricks how to improve the skill of reading which is very important in today's session and i am expecting even waiting for your feedback of today's lecture whether in the comment box or on the wall of whatsapp please make it sure it it needs to be happen now this is the right time to do so okay till the time see you tomorrow goodbye
स्टे प्रोटेक्टेड स्टे सेफ